guys, a question that I always get is how do you get your footage from your computer to your phone to say upload on Instagram without losing that quality? Well, one thing that you gotta do is you gotta make sure that you don't compress those files. A lot of people try to email, say, their video files to get them from their computer to your phone. And email will always compress video files. Compressing will reduce quality and it's not something you wanna do. You will have to do it when you ex say export your video files from Premiere most of the time, but you don't wanna redo it when you transfer it from your computer to your phone. So what you do is you got to use a file sharing service. I use Dropbox and that allows you to not have to worry about compressing your files because it doesn't compress the files. It literally just transfers the file as a whole from the computer to your phone without any loss, without any compression at all. So in the later part of this video, I'm going to actually show you how I transfer my video files from my computer to my phone using a combination of Dropbox.com and the Dropbox app. But before we do that, I'm gonna actually show you how I export my footage out of my computer. It's important that you are actually exporting your footage in the right way so that you have a good video file to begin with. And that's gonna require us to go over the concept of compression. What is compression? So, there are so many types of video compression. We're not gonna even tackle audio compression, but the only type of video compression that we're gonna talk about that's gonna be relevant to this video is data compression. Data compression means the reducing of information, bits, the ones and zeros that make up a video file. And the more that you compress a video file, uh, the more you're gonna reduce that information, and that's going to make the file size small. That's a good thing, but the fact that you're reducing information also means that you're actually reducing the video quality of the actual image. So you have this benefit of reducing the file size, but at the same time you're reducing information. Um, reducing the file size is good because it allows you to, to have a smaller file size, which allows you to store things better. And it also allows you to upload stuff to the internet easier. So the question then is how much do you compress? how much do you want to compress your video file? You don't want to compress it too much and you don't want to compress it too little. The awesome thing is this is made really easy through the use of codecs. Codecs, you do all that math for you. And the only thing you got to remember is to use the H.264 codec. This codec is going to compress your file just enough so that the file size is manageable and it's really easy to upload into store. And yet it won't compress it so much that the image reduction is too much. Quick side note, H.264 is something called a final codec and not something called an intermediate codec. You're not gonna be using intermediate codecs and we're gonna talk about that in a future video. Stop, quick explanation as far as how to export stuff out of Premiere. Go to File, go to Export, go to Media. Then you're going to make sure that your format, that's your codec, is H.264. Make sure that your preset is on YouTube. Type Y-O-U in your keyboard to scroll down to YouTube. Then actually click on YouTube 1080 PhD. Make sure that you have it saved in the right place. I'm going to call mine main. I don't know why. I'm going to save it on my desktop because that's where I'm going to save it. Click save. That's where it's going to export to. Make sure all your basic video editing settings are correct. 1920 1080. That looks right. Make sure your frame rate is 23.976. All these should already be there. All this looks great. Last thing, change this to two pass just to get that extra quality. Everything else looks great. And now you go to export and that's all you got to do. So, don't get too confused. Just remember, H.264, a final codec. That's what you're gonna wanna use when you're exporting out of Premiere to get you the perfect amount of compression. This is a final codec. You're only gonna export it out once. Okay, you got that. So, you have this exported video file that you know is of good quality because you know you use the right codec, H.264, to get you the perfect amount of compression. So, now the question is, how do I get that perfect video file from my computer to my phone? Easy. All you got to do is get a Dropbox account, upload that video file to Dropbox.com, then download the Dropbox app on your cell phone, and then all you got to do is go into Dropbox, do save to phone, and you got the video on your phone, and then you just upload it to Instagram like normal. Make sure that when you're uploading stuff to Instagram too, that you make sure you don't crop it. Thanks so much for watching guys. And check me out on Instagram at made by Olufemi. An interesting rite of passage when you first start doing short form video editing is the concept of transitions.